Rational Acoustics is proud to announce the release of Smart version 8.5, the fifth major version update to the Smart version 8 measurement platform. This free update includes many significant feature additions, interface modifications, and bug fixes, and is recommended for all Smart version 8 users. First up is a complete overhaul of impulse response mode. 8.5 adds an IR mode data bar that mimics the behavior of the real-time mode data bar. Users can measure, view, and compare multiple impulse responses simultaneously. The IR mode control bar displays all configured transfer function engines with checkboxes to select multiple engines for simultaneous capture. This enables the gathering of impulse response measurements from multiple positions in the room all at the same time. The command bar now has separate configurations for real-time mode and impulse response mode, which allows users to customize the command bar to fit their needs in each mode. Use the sync LD feature in the plot legend to align the direct arrival marker of each IR to facilitate easy comparisons and the move button to move data between plots of the same type. The new assign random color feature is a helpful way to quickly assign different colors to existing IR traces or imported WAV files. Assign random color is also available in the spectrum and transfer function data libraries in real time mode. Decay marker positions are now stored directly within the IR WAV file itself and are updated whenever the save button is pressed there's no need to load marker data separately. In addition to the existing octave and one-third octave filter banks, a new user-definable bandpass filter can now be implemented, and an additional low-pass filter can be accessed via impulse response options. Banding can now be applied to IR frequency and spectrograph plots. The All Bands dialog now shows octave bands extending down to 16 Hz, and one-third octave bands down to 12.5 Hz. The accuracy of indirect STI calculations has been greatly improved, and the calculation dialog has been overhauled with a new user interface to make the process more streamlined and approachable. In addition to the existing delay finder dialog, we've added a new advanced delay finder which provides more advanced filtering and analysis. The advanced delay finder displays an enlarged impulse analysis plot, which can be viewed as linear, log, or ETC. The heart of the advanced delay finder is the bandpass filter that can be applied to the impulse response to help zero in on peak arrival at a particular frequency range. This is a great way to quickly determine delay times for band-limited sources such as subwoofers. The delay table provides a way to store multiple delay times for quick access and recall. You can name each entry and select it to quickly compare to other entries, both in milliseconds and distance. The SPL history timeline window is now a drag and drop target for log files, which allows you to quickly open log files directly from your operating system's file browser. In addition, when logging is complete, a right-click on the file path field will open a new file browser window with the file selected. Hover text on alarm events now shows the metric and timestamp of the alarm that was triggered. The generate report function will now generate full color PDF documents for the selected time range of an SPL history log file with the option to include history thumbnail graphics. The email report option allows you to quickly attach the finished report to an email. The report includes event details, hardware and software information, a table with dynamic range statistics for all logged metrics, any relevant notes or alarms, and thumbnail plots for any selected metrics, giving you an at-a-glance overview of the trends. A new C-A weighting is available for LEQ metrics allowing a quick one-number characterization of spectral density distribution and tonal consistency, and facilitating characterization of potential low-frequency sound exposure risk. In addition, the new differential exposure display indicates sound exposure dose accumulated during a selected time range. 
the signal generator now includes a stop gen after capture option, which automatically switches off the generator as soon as the measurement is captured. The unwrap phase function now has a new option to specify the center frequency used for unwrapping. You can quickly access trace info by selecting a saved measurement in the data bar and pressing enter. As always, there's much more beyond what we've covered in this video. Please see the Smart version 8.5 release overview document for a complete list of new and improved features and bug fixes, as well as instructions for updating. Or, for more information, please contact us by email at support at rationalacoustics.com.